I locked it. When'd you do that? When you weren't looking. Jesus, Marty, I've been looking at you for the past 10 minutes. There's no way you- Can I ask you the question again, Hoffer? I wouldn't leave like that, you know that. I know, man. You're a good guy, smart guy. Everybody's, just listen to what I have to offer. And I am. You know, and I'm more than happy to go, you know, but um, I'm not doing that. I can't do that. I've got, I've got standards. Just think about the possibilities. It's not really a question anymore, though. I mean, like it is, but I've only got option A. It's like, I've said the same thing the past three times you've asked. I could, I could say it in French, Spanish, even Latin if you give me some time with Google, but it'll still be a no. And, and don't get on me now with saying yes to an opportunity, man. I get it, man, I do, but that is your thing. And I know it's a really courageous thing to do. You know, and I do like it. Well, you want a better future, yeah? You want one? Just say yes. Hoffer. You know, saying yes to reinvention or something. Courage, that's all it takes. Yes, I want that. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, I want that too. I want it all. Why else would I be saying yes to all this dumb bullshit? God. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I guess I was just enjoying myself. Disneyland was fun, man. I enjoyed that. The reason you came, right? Want some? Yeah. <clears throat> you look good. It's a suit. Oh, I mean it. It's, it's working. We wore suits once. That we did. I'll ask the question again. I don't want to lie to you, man. Then humor me, but also listen. Maybe you'll change your mind. You are persuasive. How about I answer with something different? Hmm? I'm being serious. As I say it, really, really think about it, okay? Just say it. What the fuck? Don't do that. I was just trying to make a connection. Just say your piece. You play some of the old songs with me. Three songs, the hits. No fillers, nothing new at the Tetra Lounge for the Greta Michaels tonight, and I will be the happiest person alive. And, and hang on, you get a signing bonus of $100,000. You have to play the drums. A and I promise you it won't be filmed. Maybe by people on their phones, but they're nobodies anyway. No one will even know what happened. The Tetra Lounge, it's great. I bought it about two years ago, and I've done it up like the old clubs we used to play at. Acoustics are great, just like the old days. The door's still locked? It's just one night offer. We ended it real nice, Marty. We ended it how I- Yes, yes, I know, but what if we could end it even nicer, more poetic? Wait, our last we're... show was in Scotland under the Northern Lights. We had a standing ovation, if you remember, and everybody was crying after our bow. Probably before that, too. And the encore? What the fucking, the blisters we got after covering 1970 twice? Hey, Iggy's still kicking it. He comes to the lounge all the time just to hang. I could get Iggy tonight, you know? You telling me you could get the Iggy Pop to watch us in six hours? Fuck, I can't make any promises. He's in Miami, but if we get a jet, we can Wait, fly. when was the last time you went to your lounge, Marty? Gee, sometime in May 2018. But he goes all the time? It was just that one time, kind of, and he didn't drink. He just wanted to use the bathroom. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this, man. I'm sorry, but it was great seeing you. But this oh, okay, okay. What do I have to do to have you saying yes? Another trip to Disney? Easily done. You ever been to Disney World? No, no, I, I don't care, man. I, I'll get Iggy, wanna... fuck me. I'll resurrect Dave, Scott, and Ron and force them to come just so you can play those goddamn drums Jesus, tonight. do you know how crazy you sound right now? <gasps> Think of the money. It'll help out my lounge. You'd be really helping out a friend. I don't even know who you are anymore, man. We're still friends, though. Come on now. <sighs> do you know a fear of mine was always of selling out? It's not selling out. I mean, I don't think it is. How's the new band of yours? Gerbil Slays, right? Yeah. You guys on the Billboard Top 100? Is this the strategy now, making me feel like a loser? I'm just talking, man. Yeah, we don't care about that stuff. Are you on a label? We're getting there. You're getting there. Great. Terrific. Do you want another can? No, we're, we're working on it, okay? I, the community name, it's small. What do you think of Pekalulu Records? I, it's, it's overproduced bullshit. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> uh, 
We have the cream sodas and Marvel Man. People are saying the new lo-fi. And? Pitchfork says it's distinctive and acquired taste and... What? You want me to list more? Okay. Peel's mother, Oasis Jr., King Loud, homosexual, spotted dicks. Okay, okay, let me just... Mary V, Kareen Fender, and fucking Cyrilda? Everyone loves Cyrilda. She's got the catchiest fucking songs. How can I fucking perform with a guy that says shit like this? You need to get your head out of your independent asshole. It's not a place where you can go now, not after everything. People will see what I'm doing. It's just a case of biding my time and letting, you know, fucking ship sail. I can put you on my label. I gaffed that. Well? No. What else you got? You've got no interest from anyone! People just don't get what I'm doing right now. They will soon enough. I oh, Christ, man. People don't get me. They don't get my music. I don't think you get it. You don't understand. Look, I get it. It's not the most ideal situation, but morally, I feel this is right. I wouldn't go down the red road if I had a choice. Okay? The songs we made as the burn tongues had a kick to them. They had fucking balls, but they also had something people could dance to. There isn't anything in what you're creating that has buzz. I buzz, dude. Or like a fucking bee, I buzz. You can't dance to it. I'm not asking anybody to dance to it. Oh, that's right. No, that's it. You want a bunch of white, depressed, 20-somethings rocking their heads back and forth okay, like Okay, you can dance to it. You, you just said you can't. You said you can't dance to it. I don't it. mean like a fucking box step or shit like that. Right. Yeah. Interpretive. And maybe not even that. Maybe something new. Something, something fresh. Something that hasn't been done before. I get it. Different. Go fuck yourself, Marty. I'm sorry, man. It's just, I'm not talented. I don't have any talent. That is the understatement of a lifetime. It's true, though. I didn't know how to play the guitar when you first asked me to form a band. No, what I remember? You, oh shit, yeah. Now I remember you, you came to my house and when my mom led you into the garage, you were wearing like this pink sweater. You had flowers on it. <laughs> my mom bought that for me. It was really, I could see you, you know. But like, you shredded, right? Regardless of the clothes, it was like, this guy's like overqualified to be in my band. You wouldn't have said that a month before. What do you mean? Well, you asked me to be a part of your band because you heard from some kid, Todd, I think, that I like Black Sabbath and nobody else in our year liked Black Sabbath. I don't trust anyone who doesn't like Black Sabbath. That's besides the point, man. I was terrified. I didn't know how to play the guitar. Bullshit. <laughs> that day I asked my mom if we could buy a guitar. No, don't fuck with me, man. All right, you were, you were a god at guitar. <laughs> I did. You were. Not then. I got this guitar, a little Yamaha acoustic, and I got to work on it for hours. I practiced every night. I'd go to town on those strings, scales, chords. I worked on it for hours. I was terrified, man. You're kidding me right now? Fear drove me. This is... This is bullshit. Stand in my shoes. The guy who you've seen at school, the guy who you thought was the coolest dude in existence, asks if you want to be a part of his band. How could you say no? I mean, I'm glad I did. Look what followed it. And without any confidence. Don't give me that look, man. It just doesn't work for me. Fear drives me. It puts that knife in my back and it's digging, reminding me, like a, like a warning. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up, Marty boy. With every song, every note. Want another? <clears throat> God. I just didn't want to mess it up for anyone who was paying a ticket. You know, what they didn't know was that they were paying to see a guy who didn't have any talent. Oh, come on. It's true though, but I work hard, so I'm able to fake it convincingly enough. It was either I grew or I die. I get good or I die. And I didn't feel much like dying. Why is it that I'm now just hearing this? I never wanted to talk about it. I guess I just wanted to go at stuff and see what the fuck happened. Yeah, something to think about. So, I, I walked away. I was the bigger man. Wow. You were out. Why aren't you still out? I was until I met, um... Miranda. We were gonna... Do coke. Like the soda. Powder. Just that water, baby. <laughs> Ow. My gut. <laughs> Not yet. Go get some wine and glasses in there and uh, wait for me in the bedroom, okay? Okay. Oh, before I go... 
Can you please? Can't you wait? No, I need a line while I'm getting the stuff. How many? Mm, a healthy 10 lines. Jesus. Dude, you know how I feel about that in the living room. The bedrooms are fine, just not here. Not so that kind of line in black shoes. <clears throat> this one's called uh, In Stereo. <clears throat> Sorry for the time I've wasted with you, uh, in you. And the coffee was good. You were probably living coldly, which made me buy you lattes and puppets. It, it, it's starting to ice outside. The radio is now dying and the contact is sweet. How it always is in stereo. Cash Barrett 2019. Wine and glasses in there, please and thank you. Tim Miller's with suit day. Cash, offer. You look, um, how's Gerbil Place? Yeah. Gerbil Slays. Yeah, fine. You've been keeping up. Uh, no. Cash, why are you going to the kitchen and see if Marley needs any help? Miranda. Does, does, does Miranda need any help? You know, I'm gonna marry that girl, so better get her name right, okay? Cool. You're seriously telling me what her name is? You just learned it like hey. five seconds. Hey, don't talk that way about her. Jesus, you been snorting coke? I, I, I was, yes. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I was, ooh, I got an Uber and then I, I met her and uh, it doesn't concern you, okay? What are you doing here, Cash? What's he doing here? He needed a place to stay. Last so time I saw you, you fired me. Okay, are you being serious right now? You know, I had a real tough time back there. I, I had to go through therapy. You had to go through therapy? You were the one that was screwing Sarah in the green room last I checked. You know, I had a horrible time finding another band to open for. Okay, guys, let's just bring it back. Okay? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Never has a name sounded so bitter and... Loose. We were engaged. I did you a favor, fucker. She was robbed by experience. Why do you think it was so easy for me to sleep with her? Huh? Buffy, I got the drink. Just wait for me in there, okay? Okay, you say so. I think I know your secret. My uh, secret? Mm hmm. I think I cracked it. You're actually Ruby Carr, and that Indian chick is just his banker. I can't believe it. Oh my god, no. Really? My top student? I actually helped her a couple summers ago. You see, when I was helping her out, writing a couple summers back, I was getting these feelings of ethereal ghost massages in my head. I don't know, maybe around uh, nine o'clock. Ethical ghost massages? Um, it simply means that uh, she was channeling me as she wrote on her typewriter. You see, uh, I helped her with that. Uh, you know, it, it helped her connect with the, with the white males of, of yesteryear. It, it helped her punish them into exile. You know, the, the new generation, the new artist. You see, with every dash of Rupi Carr poems, you get a, a sense of uh, Cash Barrett, you know? I, you know, I helped her write her first poem. The first Rupi Carr poem? Yeah, I practically wrote it by myself. I used her as a form of vessel. Gross. Please tell me you remember it, please. Yes, I do. Tell me! You know how to get it, baby. Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, where were we boys? Hell, you enjoy talking out of your ass? Hey, women love it. Everybody loves beautiful lies. We need to talk some more. I know I said in stone, Marty. So, what's happening tonight, Marty Fart? Don't call me that. And you're not listening. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll, I'll bang some drums. You can't play the drums. You don't fucking know me. You're pretty good at moaning. Yeah, well, uh... Sarah taught me while I was fucking her. This isn't a good image, asshole. The one you currently have isn't a good one either. You know what I think, Marty? I think you've lost touch with your roots. It's just one fucking performance tonight. Why is that so difficult? I don't want to sell out. It's not selling out. It's not. I don't know then. I don't know what it is I want. Marty, you don't need this fuck. Really? Oh, go fuck yourself, man. 
Look, I'll get to it with Miranda, Miranda, whatever her name is. I'll see if she can keep a bee. And if she can't, still use her. Just take off her top. That's all that matters. It has to be hot for Greta Michaels wants the original burnt tongues. You performing tonight? Yeah. You, uh, you drinking that? No. Tastes like cum. That's what uh, Sarah's pussy tastes like. Hey, Christ, it wasn't supposed to be this hard. You always said I was arrogant. Uh, Sarah said you had a tiny dick when I was gripping her hair with my fist. Hey, if you keep this up, I'm gonna fucking beat your ass. Baby. Coming, Jesus. So I'll uh, see you tonight and uh, have you uh, talk to Sarah. Hey, you fucking leaving now? Whatever, man. Marty, I... It's fine. There's a lot of potential on our record label. We're not big, but we can rep you. Gerbil Slays will be the first of its kind on it. Wouldn't that be something? It, okay, that, it's sweet, but it's not- you know. I'm sorry, man. I can't help you. I wanted this tonight, but it's obvious I'm not gonna get it. Look, you fly back to DC tomorrow, right? Right. Right, so just come by tonight. No performing, just hang out. I'll change some things, names and stuff. We have plenty of drummers, it's just, I want it to be you though, man. She could keep a beat. That wasn't even a minute. She could keep a beat. We got a great drummer in there. That's not how it works. All right, we have a drummer. Fuck it. Maybe Greta will like a comedy. Want to watch a topless drummer? I don't have to perform. No, you just get to enjoy the spectacle. Okay. How do you feel now? Well, uh, from the looks of it, I feel alright. <laughs> <laughs>